You are listening to Let's Talk Tea Podcast with your favorite boss, babe. Yup, Shani Summon Godfrey. This podcast is designed to transform, elevate, and empower you to build your legacy that lasts. I'm not all here by myself, y'all. I am joined by thousands of bosses across the globe right here on Let's Talk Tea Podcast. We are here for no other reason but to help you build your legacy with passion. Good we morning, sweat no one here. Good night, good afternoon, wherever in the world you are at this present moment. Welcome to... Let's talk to you podcast with your old Shani Simon Godfrey. How y'all doing today? Y'all, it's a whole lot of light. Listen, they have me looking so crazy today for Spirit Week at work. Yes, a whole lot of lights. Let me see if I could cut some lights off so y'all can see me. Yeah, they got us doing Spirit Week and they have me looking so crazy. They had me looking crazy all week, y'all, all week. And I've been posting, so go to my website, ShaniSalmon.com, or my Instagram, ShaniSalmon, and you can see, and you'll see what I look like today from head to toe, all, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am super excited. I told you guys last week that we're starting our series about um, Fair the Invisible Bully, and we were going to walk it through, walk through our journey from, I have an idea, to here's my thriving vision dream business, Okay. That's what we're doing today. So we're doing Fear the Invisible Bully, episode one. Last week was the intro. This is episode one. And this episode is anchoring your dreams. Anchoring your dreams. So my question today is what is the anchor for your dream? And a lot of times we think about anchor and we think about, you know, boats and ships and all the other things. And we don't really think about our dreams needing an anchor, right? Because the anchor is something that hold the ship, the boat, whatever that is, when they're going through um, storm, right? Or bad weather. That way it stays on course. So when you have a purpose and you have a dream your dream needs to be attached to something bigger something bigger than you god's plan for you god's plan for you your dream need to be attached to something bigger than you because there will be times that make you feel like you just can't do it and if you're doing it for you a lot of times we tend to put ourselves on the back burner right we tend to put ourselves last but when your dream is attached to something bigger than you god's plan for your life you have no choice but to put that vision first right when you have it anchored, when you have your vision attached to God's plan for you, now you have divine fuel attached to that vision, divine work ethics, divine push, right? Divine strength, divine energy. A lot of times people said, how do you do all of that? It's not by my might and it's not by my strength, but by it's by the spirit of God is why I could get up and keep going. Even when I don't feel like I want to keep going, even when we're dealing through, we're dealing with, because remember a lot of times people see us and they see us on TV, radio, podcast. They see us on different stages, traveling to different places, international stages, in magazines, writing books. They feel like, oh, I could never achieve that in a that they're just different no we are like you but you have to have your dream attached to something bigger than you attached to God's plan for you and that will give you divine fuel so when you don't feel like get up God will make you get up because you are operating in his vision his plan for you and he will never give up on you okay so there's some things that we want to watch. There's some things that we have to, some barriers to say that we have to break through, right? Some invisible walls that we have to break through as it relates to getting that vision anchored. That is sacrifice, personal sacrifice, determination, humility, financial, spiritual, and emotional. Those are all invisible walls that we have to kind of get through in order for us to be able to even anchor that vision. Once we have that vision anchored, it's easier for us to get through those things because those are some things that we're going to face. Those are some invisible bullies that's going to come up it's some invisible bullies that's going to come up and those are your invisible bullies okay so give your dream back to the one that gave it to you in the first place god gave you that vision give it back to him he put me to the challenge months ago and he said do nothing no video no magazine no radio no tv no podcast no books no nothing 
don't have no business meeting don't do anything drop it seek me and i said okay and i did that so long then i got comfortable not doing any of that and then he shaked me up again because he wanted me to want him more than I wanted the dream. More than I wanted everything else that he gave me, that he entrusted me for me to serve over. And when he pulled me back, I was like, okay, well, it's, it's stepping away for so long. Normally, I'll say step away from two months, a month, just to test your business, see how well it operates without you. But four months of not doing anything let you really realize who is really in charge. And when I saw my business was thriving, I was like, okay, my business is anchored. It's anchored back to the one that gave it to me in the first place. Then he brought me back to why he even gave it to me in the first place. Because sometimes we get so busy and get so caught up. It's easy to forget why we're even doing this anyway. When you've been doing something so long, it's easy to forget why you started doing it anyway. Okay? So give it back to the one that gave it to you in the first place. Give your dream over to God. He will anchor he will be your anchor. He will be your anchor. The anchor will keep you through your process. And we're going to talk about all of these invisible bullies that we have to go through, these invisible walls that we have to break through. We're going to talk about that personal sacrifice, that determination, humility, financial, spiritual, and emotional walls we're gonna have to t we're gonna walk those through throughout the next couple of weeks we're gonna go through every last one of them in super details give you strategies give you tools give you tips on how to deal with those different things because the tools that you're gonna need to deal with those things all look differently it don't all look the same so we can't deal with those things the same way all right so Fear the Invisible Bully, it's episode one of our series, Anchor Your Dream. Again, I am Shani Simon Godfrey, founder of Elevation TV and Radio Network, Gifted Magazine, Legacy Consulting Firm, among others. There's other things and surprises that I have for you all, but I will announce that throughout the weeks as we are doing our series. And again, go to my Instagram, go to my website, and you will see what all of this look like, why they have me looking crazy today, okay? Find me at ShaniSalmon.com or Legacy C, C as in Charlie, S as in Sam, Firm.com, Legacy C, S, Firm.com. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.